Now, the electric part is, is really the traditional rife way. It's not really rife, it's rife crane. Crane was the, the um, uh, assistant of rife, and he found that you can apply energy not only to the plasma, this was the original rife therapy unit, it was the plasma application, but he said you can also use electric uh, electrodes like this, or we have a massage applicator that applies the electric frequencies while doing a massage, for example. Then we have the cosmetic applicator where you have two electrodes and the, and the electricity runs between those two electrodes. You can have it in the face. Usually you don't feel those electrodes as much as, for example, the hand electrodes because here the elect electricity runs always between one and the other pole. One is called the reference and the other is called the channel or the, the signal electrode. So here you feel much more, even very small voltages. Here usually you don't feel it as strongly. So that's why uh, we have the possibility to take two applicators this is, for example, our hair applicator, or you can use it also for animals, because with those electrodes, it, they go through the, through the hair. And so you can put one electrode in the signal, and the other one in the ref. And they also have extension cords here. And then you can put one here, and then the other one in different parts of the body. Or you can connect one of those into the reference and the other one in the signal and so you have for example if we put this one into the ref so you always need to have one electrode in the reference and the other in the signal or the channel that's the whole, the whole uh, idea so now here I can use this and hold this somewhere in the scalp. So the electricity will run between the hand and the point in the scalp. Mm -hmm. So this is the way to make it uh, happen in your whole body, whereas like using only this alone in the signal ref output, the electricity goes only between those two different points. So so much about the electricity output. Was there any? Yes, we can talk about this. So this is other electrodes. Um, our Christmas applicators, uh, our <laughs> spherical electrodes. And uh, users have found them very useful for uh, doing massage with while doing also frequency application. So you would hold them like this. Have of course the BNC connection, and of course we can have any lengths. If this is not a long enough, any lengths you can get um, extension cords from us. So now you have those two again signal and uh, or channel one and reference, and then you can glide over the body while you do massage. Now important is that if you do this, most of the electricity will go through your body. In order to avoid this, you have to wear those isolating gloves that you are out of the, the circuit. So again, that's, that's what I call the, our spherical electrodes. And then we have another one, and this is also a novelty. This is our acupuncture electrode. It has two sides, you can apply either way. The difference is only that the two electrodes are very close together. So if you are very good in acupuncture, you know exactly where the point is and you can apply the, the frequency. And, and actually, if you are in uh, the biofeedback mode or the resonant frequency mode, it finds the resonant frequencies for this client 
And this is a novelty also in the energy field. And you can apply it to any point of the body. If you're not so sure, you can use the other side, which has a little bit a bigger surface. And again, here the same thing applies. You can put this into, if you want another electrode to be used at the same time, you put this only in the signal one, and then you have a reference. So the person would hold one electrode, and then you would apply the other side to different parts of his body. So you can this way determine how far should the electricity travel through his body. So you have really all possibilities uh, to design your own protocol. Can you run that acupuncture electrode throughout the meridian? Up and down the meridian too? Yes, you, you can do this if you're very if you're very clear where the meridians are. I would I think nobody is as clear that he knows exactly how, but if you are, you can do this. Otherwise, you use uh, the massage applicator. That's another way. And, uh, or the, the cosmetic applicator, so you have a little bit more surface. And if you are in a signal mode, both electrodes are energized. So it's not only one, both are in a chance. Good. So if you are in signal, it means that you don't have to have a reference? No, when you, are, when you always have, a, have to have a reference. If you don't plug it into signal reference, you need the reference either from here or from here. You can either way. Mm -hmm. So you always need a signal and a reference. And the signal reference output either in, 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 this, in this audio way or with this way allows you only those applicators that have both electrodes in one. Mm. Yes, That's why you would, you would connect it here or here. But if you have only a single electrode, you need always uh, both. And can we put the acupuncture into the signal reference then? You can also, all the, all the all white hand uh, applicators you can put in signal reference. Why? Because they have two electrodes. Mm -hmm. okay. So mm -hmm. then the only difference is that the, the, the current travels only a very small distance and it usually is very localized and it's, it's not, usually people don't feel it. Mm -hmm. where, where does the foot plate go? The foot plate, again, in any, in any place either the signal or the reference. And if you have a foot plate, maybe you can you can bring the foot plate UPS here. <laughs> so also so this is our foot plate. And uh, for some people, they can put both feet on it. I can only put one foot on it. <laughs> and, but you can also, if people have very big, big feet, you can just do like something like this. Mm. And if oh, you have to. Or if you are not satisfied with this either, you, you can have a second one so they can have uh, both feet on, on, their, on their own electrode. And now, if you put this one in the reference or in the signal depends really on you. Usually you put it in reference, but if you put it the other way, electricity goes, doesn't come from there. If from reference, electricity comes from the reference channel. But if you put it in the signal or the channel one or channel two, then the electricity comes from the other electrode that you put in the reference. So you cannot make a mistake it's just the polarity, the way the electricity travels. And so far, I don't know of any studies that show that there's any difference. So you can either way plug this in channel, in signal, or in reference. Uh, you only have to always make sure you have at least one electrode in the reference. Mm 